Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> this is Joe out at St. Bernard Acres down here in the barn. Uh working on the battery room. And I'm gonna uh, change my mind and using a different pallet than what I had up there. And I think this one for a floor is gonna work. I'm going to get the biggest one I can for the floor. And then, because they're, you know, one by sixes on treated, you know, look like almost like four by fours or big two by fours, rough cut. Um, but I'm still going to take some of this plywood I got from work from the mezzanine floor that we replaced, cut it. And screw on top of that just for the extra strength. So, plans changed. Going to use the same battery box, just I think with a different pallet, I'll have room to build around a uh, building around it using that floor and uh, uh, then close it up. So, we'll see if that plan works. <laughs> if not, I got more pallets. And more pallets, but this whole thing's gonna be built out of pallet wood. That whole pile of stuff over there pallet is pallet wood that's already cleaned. So here we go. Alright. So we got the other pallet up here. This one I like a whole lot better than that one. Yeah, we don't have to put a floor on it. And These posts that I managed to pull up work great for a base uh, all the way around it. So I don't have to worry about anything. It's set in level now. And now we're going to run two before all around the outside edge of it so I can build walls, put a door to the back of it. There's enough room to put this battery box on there and you see I got some like rubber mats with, from work that we get on paper uh, to put down in the bottom of it so that the battery set on the rubber so yeah there's a couple sides on it I know I had told you I had the sides for it now once we get the batteries in and I get them all wired up again I'll uh, put the sides on the front of it and it's all good to go. Just have to put a top on it. But I got to go and start unhooking all the batteries. And Nick's going to screw the plate around the bottom. And we'll get this up there. We'll get the batteries in it. I'll get it covered up and locked. And then we're done for the day. I got to go into work tomorrow. I won't spend the night out here. But I got to go into work. But we'll be back. Okay, so we're back inside the cabin, and now I have to disconnect everything so I can move this outside to the battery box. Um, eventually, all of this will go out to the battery box, but I'm done testing everything. I know everything works the way it's supposed to. Everything's great, so now I can start moving it out there. I already turned off my inverter. My batteries are well they're not a 22 i turned it off i disconnected the batteries so that's what's left in the system is winding down uh the batteries were at 28 and the pv was coming in just great so i disconnected that 20 amp breaker is the solar panels so i turned that off so i have no power now going to the uh charge controller now I'm going to turn off the batteries from the charge controller to the batteries. So that there's no, nothing is connected to the batteries. In case I short something out. So I'm going to turn this off. Now the charge controller is completely off. I'm going to wait till this gets down to zero. So I know there's no juice even hanging around anymore. And then I'll start 
disconnecting all the batteries. Whew. Man. And then to bring all this from outside inside, <laughs> I've got to get longer cables uh, to go from the battery bank into these bus bars. Come on, what you down to? 18. I wanted to get down to zero. But that's all the residual electricity left. And remember, everything you see on here, I have links through my Amazon affiliate account if you need to buy any of this. Uh, it helps out my channel. So, I'm going to start putting all this kind of stuff down in description because, like I said, it does help. And it's reached the point where every dollar helps. Um, I spent a lot of money putting this together. And <laughs> that was the end of the savings. So now i got to start building it all back up again. But I'll be back after I disconnect it all. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to show, you know, shoot video of me disconnecting wires. Because I might short it out again like I did before. <laughs> Scare the shit out of myself. Man, it threw, it threw sparks everywhere when I did that. But I dropped the socket. Uh, the ratchet. And man, those things hit. And it melted my ratchet. The head. So that's no good anymore. I had to get a different ratchet. But. We're getting there. I'll be back. So, got everything disconnected without burning anything up and without uh, electrocuting myself. Let me show you the idea here now. This is the pallet I chose instead of that one. And it fits this cabinet perfectly. And these plates around are for a wall. I can step inside here. So I'm going to build this about six feet high. The walls. Uh, it'll be just a lean to against this. Maybe go up to the white stripe there. Um, but then I'll be able to walk in here, open up the top on this. Do maintenance on my batteries. Add water to them if they need it. Close down the lid. And right here on this back wall is going to be the board that I have in the cabin on the wall. And that's why I built that board the way I built it. Is I can just unscrew it from the wall, bring it out here, and screw it into this. And... Not miss a beat. I have the MT50 remote for the charge controller and the remote for the inverter. And I'll probably put the fuse block inside for all of my uh, 12 volt LED lighting that I'm going to run out of it. But other than that, everything's going to be out here in this shed. Um, and this cabinet is big enough, if I turn the um, batteries the other direction, I could put 10 batteries in here, maybe 12, uh, inside this cabinet that they were going to throw away. So, all i got to do is hinge the top on it, and we're good to go. It's got vent holes, I'll put a screen there. Is vented on this side, and the inverter is gonna is on that box, and I'm gonna make a plug that comes out of the inverter directly into that, and that feeds into my service panel inside. So I will take care of all the electric, and it will all be out here instead of in the cabin. Uh, man. Might not look like much, but that's a lot of work. 
But what's really nice about it, it is costing absolutely nothing. Uh, this is all stuff I had down in the barn. Old pallets, pallet wood. That's what all those two buys on there. Uh, and I got all that pallet wood down there I'm going to use for the walls and for the roof. So, whew, brought a couple barrels out. Because I'm going to bring some... Uh, uh gutter out do the back side here right now because i'm only going to catch water off the back side i'll set my barrels up over here i have a pump a 12 volt pump and faucet on my wish list and amazon so when i get ready uh i can uh you know, hook all that up and have running water in the sink. Uh, man. Whooped. Holy shit. That's too much like work. I gotta quit doing this. But that's it. Hope you all like this part one of moving everything. Uh, next phase will be building the all the walls around it and the roof putting the top on the uh case and then hooking power back up again remember to like this share it comment all that kind of stuff i'm out